Well, welcome back all my YouTube browsers and subscribers and thanks once more for tuning in to my YouTube channel. Now, in this particular clip, we're going to have a quick chat with uh, CCM rider Les Calderwood as he talks us through the preparations to his 1974 580ccm and how he is preparing his bike and getting ready for the start of the Scottish classic motorcycle racing season. I'll sort of it. Here we have the 1974 CCM uh, for the 2019 racing season. There's been quite a few changes on the bike from last year uh, to increase the, hopefully, increase the, the uh, reliability. Uh, so we've completely stripped the bike to the last nut and bolt and the bare frame, uh, flushed the whole frame out and we have completely redesigned new barrel which uh, is using specially hardened nickel seal, uh, slightly different, uh, especially used on long grass track racing and uh, we've fitted a new carburetor and we've also introduced a new twin air filter system to uh, cut out any of the dirt ingress uh, to the engine. So that's, we've done that. Uh, we've completely revised the sh rear shocks. They've been stripped out for, uh, by rock shocks uh, to my exact weight. So I've changed a little bit of the damping and the spring rating on, the, on those. Uh, the front forks, uh, the front forks have, have actually fitted uh, special adjusters uh, on the front fork spring re preload adjusters uh, so that uh, for various tracks I can uh, either raise or lower the spring rating depending on, on the type of track I'm racing on. Uh, we've also fitted new, new uh, Dunlop tires front and rear. Uh, the whole engine is completely stripped, uh, new bearings throughout. Um, we've got uh, new chain, new 520 chain, and we've got new sprockets, and uh, what else have we done to this machine? We've fitted a nice new throttle, and we've also fitted some nice retro Magura, Magura grips. Um, Okay, uh, so the, on the engine side uh, of this 1974 CCM, uh, for this year, uh, the engine was completely stripped, uh, split, uh, crankshaft balanced, and uh, new 92mm piston, and we've got a special uh, plastic-based nickel seal barrel, uh, which is harder than standard. It's actually used on long track and long speedway type racing. Uh, we've also fitted a new McCuney 34mm carburetor, which has uh, been jetted 250 main and a 35mm pilot jet, and the needle needles in position too. So that's identical settings uh, to the carburation from last year, which was perfectly good. Uh, on the inlet side, uh, the air filter system uh, is now a new larger twin air. It's uh, actually from a uh, Elsinore Honda style air filter system. So that'll stop any any of the dirt uh, collecting inside the slide. The forks, the forks we've uh, we've fitted preload adjusters for w which I can adjust on the race day. I can adjust them to any setting I wish. Uh, so if it's a fast sweeping track, I can drop the forks a little bit, uh, spring rating for faster cornering. Or if it's a if it's a really rough track, we can take the suspension up a little bit. Um, we're running the bike on Rock Oil Speedway caster based oil this year. Um, the exhaust has been refitted and new springs, exhaust springs, uh, machined specially made stainless steel brackets here. Uh, footrests have been refurbished. And uh, the rear suspension by Rock Shocks, uh, I carry two spare sets of these. Uh, the spring rating has been changed to suit my new uh, 
almost two stone lighter frame so we've changed the spring rating which also meant slightly different shims for the rebound and compression damping uh, so they're completely refurbished those uh, so I've got another spare identical set and the well and the chance that somebody maybe collides with you and bends uh, bends the shaft so we can replace that the wheels are all Morad uh, Morad Spanish rims have been rebuilt and new tires new Dunlop Geomax 100 by 118 Geomax Dunlops which is a mid-range tire uh, suits the conditions here um, and uh, new sprockets 58 tooth uh, rear sprocket and new chain uh, seat I've made a slight modification to my riding position from last year I've added uh, about uh, 50 millimeter to the height of the seat uh, this just makes the tank and seat more flush so so I can move I can move around the bike a little bit better without increasing the height too much um, nothing else much to report new heavy duty tubes fit it uh, so we can run the tires at good low pressure really low pressure without having any chance of punctures. Yep. Of course last year uh, started the season off uh, things were going well but I had a few issues um, we, we, we lost the, the nickel seal lining on the barrel and the, uh, at a crucial part of the racing season um, and uh, the causes uh, there's probably about six different causes uh, ifs and buts but uh, I went back to basics and we've started from scratch and rebuilt the engine completely and, as, and to avoid any dirt ingress we've changed the carburation and the air filter system and I've completely uh, flushed the frame or the oil is in the frame in a CCM so I've completely flushed the uh, internal the frame out and fitted a new uh, oil filter system uh, to uh, well, it's basically just to take that option away from failure. <laughs> so this year we're, we're looking for more reliability and uh, steady finishes and have plenty of fun. That's really what we're looking for in the classic racing. So what we have here is uh, specially made by RockShox for the um, Marashoki Forks, the spring load adjusters. and at the race meeting, uh, depending on the conditions of the track, I can adjust these and uh, change the, the spring preload uh, on the front forks. So hopefully I'll be able to make the bike even more suitable for various tracks with that system. Very simple. We'll keep it simple, as Van Morrison would say. So that's, that's what's, what's happening there Monday. Yeah. So what we have uh, on this side of the bike, on the drive side, uh, we've got a 58 tooth uh, new rear sprocket and I change, I use a light, a light weight. Uh, it's not an O-ring chain, it's a 520 chain. So we don't get too much drag on the, on the engine. And we just change that after three meetings, just throw it away and put a new one on. Uh, we've fitted new uh, guides, chain guides. And we've also fitted a new uh, air filter breather uh, into the air filter system the, from the gearbox, a breather system on the clutch side. Uh, the clutch has been completely stripped, it's an NEB clutch. Uh, they are a heavy duty clutch these do. It's a compromise, uh, if you have too light a clutch in these bikes it's going to fail. Uh, so uh, we don't use the clutch too much when we're racing so we go for a heavy duty clutch there. It makes the action of the clutch quite heavy but, but it's uh, reliability wise it, it's uh, a much better option. Uh, we fit it and the interspan ignition just switches on here. Uh, those interspan ignitions, I've got two spare and the original. They have been completely serviced, uh, revised with new rechargeable batteries uh, by Fred down in London, who uh, very uh, nicely took away the, the uh, interspans and, and serviced those for me. Okay. So from the interspan ignition, uh, we we use uh, NGK, BR8ES is the standard plug that I use. Uh, I'll just unscrew that. So we, uh, uh, I've never had any issues uh, with uh, running these. They run quite well. 
Yeah. So the, the last thing we have to do with this bike is uh, just top up the engine oil and uh, gearbox oil here. It uses half a pint, half a pint of uh, EP80 or EP90 uh, in gearbox oil in here. And fire her up, charge the interspan ignition and fire her up and run her in. So that's all that's left to be done to the bike. Uh, so, uh, uh, front wise and brake wise, front wheel, uh, we've honed the, the drums and there is new EBC uh, ventilated pads fitted there. Uh, this was specially made. Uh, the Marashaki forks uh, don't have a, a moulded uh, front brake rod connection, so we made this billeted aluminium connection and it, uh, it works well. I've never had any trouble with the brakes. The Marashaki forks, uh, they're using, uh, I'm using silkaline, uh, 15 weight silkaline oil there. Uh, engine oil is, we're using rock oil, Speedway Castor, which is a fabulous oil. Uh, so yeah, that or Castor R, I would really, this is slightly cleaner oil, but less sludge build up with that. That's it. Right. Okay, the, the handlebars, uh, these are enduro style uh, Renthal handlebars, they're slightly wider and a slightly different pitch angle than the motocross uh, because of the nature of the, the, the steering angle on this 1974 bike. If you use standard uh, Renthals, you'll trap, uh, you'll trap your leg in here, uh, so to give us a bit more space for our riding position, we use these enduro Renthals. Uh, then for some of the tracks, especially in France or in Northern Ireland, uh, some of the tracks down in County Down uh, can have quite a lot of little sharp rocks. Uh, I find there's not so many rocks in Scotland, uh, but uh, to avoid these sort of things, <laughs> broken fingers, we use these little uh, plastic guards to protect you from stones. They're not protection for wooden posts but they, they certainly will stop little rocks bouncing on you, breaking your fingers. Uh, so if, uh, if you have any requirement to contact me on any uh, platform on social media, just use hashtag V50CCM. Uh, should it be Instagram or Twitter or Facebook? If you use that hashtag, I get to see it much quicker. That's why we use that. Yeah, so what we have here is uh, uh, it's not my third away strip. Th this is actually uh, the race uh, shirt for 2019, especially picked by Deborah Allison. Uh, reason being, um, she said on the track and the distance, uh, you can pick me up very quickly. Uh, even on the far side of the track, she can she can see me right away, which is one of the reasons she likes that colour of gear. Uh, race numbers uh, on classic scrambling in Scotland are pretty much set for the year. Number 50, I've had that number since I started Classic Scrambling in Scotland. So uh, I quite like that style, yeah. And we've also got a set of matching uh, orange boots. Um, it's, uh, Is there a brightness control within? Uh, the, these are some of the loudest uh, boots that have ever been seen in history. They're actually Italian made. Uh, they weren't supplied by Franco Rippa, but uh, they're actually, th those are my second boots. They're, they're a service uh, made by the same guys that make my plastic uh, hand guards. The, a service, they're actually a very comfortable boot, uh, designed for medium uh, classic racing, not so much for uh, supercross type tracks. They're they're not a rigid solid boot. They're more of a medium, uh, softer boot. So uh, perfect for classic scrambling. Um, my other boots I use are CD CD boots, uh, which are very comfortable. But uh, you certainly won't miss me on the track this year. No, it doesn't look like it. No. Yeah. So uh, looking forward to 2019 racing season in Scotland. Uh, the diary set this year uh, looks like I'll maybe do a little trip uh, to Northern Ireland and uh, possibly down into England and 
I may attend a French event later in the year. Um, but thanks uh, to everybody that's helped me uh, this year uh, get the bike ready. Uh, Deborah Allison for our, all her help and uh, the Aird family. Um, I'm a, a mascot, Angus Og, the cat. Oh, yeah. So that's the bike ready for this year's Scottish Classic uh, Scramble Championship. Uh, and if you're interested in seeing this bike running and see loads of other cl old classic bikes, uh, come along to the first round at Finnevin, uh near Forfar on the 31st of March for the first round of the Scottish Classic Motocross Championship. Uh, if you need any details of direct or directions, just log on to the Scottish Classic Racing Motorcycle Club's website online. Or you can check out uh, Christopher Montagna's YouTube uh, site for uh, great video coverage l throughout the year at all the events. Good luck everybody. This video was brought to you in association with Walt Sport Motocross Race and Leisure Wear. And also in association with BMX Magazine the world's undisputed number one publication for all your vintage and classic dirt bike motorcycles.